called a paramedical insurance exam. Get the fuck out of my phone, spit. bitch. I don't get the phone. Get, go take blood, boy. Came you and Wilk a job where people quiet in the background. Have you watched one of my videos? A three hour video from front to back. That girl situation when he was ranking. That okay, girl. You're not paying attention. When he was what? Talk to him. I'm have listening. you watched I'm one sorry. of my video? Have you watched a full video of mine from front to back? One one of my live streams. I just saw I just saw one video, um, was it the whole I think it was a whole video of some girl when you when you were he was ranking her. He asked her what her what what he her asked ranking. her what she ranked herself. I have a full three hour show that I do and you watched a seven minute clip. I challenge you and your friend to go back to my channel no, and no. watch the full so 30 minute. Ah, oh, no, no, see, no, I'm not going to do this. See, here's, see, and this I'm is the problem. You I, but, but, but you haven't even, you haven't even responded to what I said. You haven't even watched the full video of where the excerpt was coming from. And then, but your friend has the nerve to make a judgment that women have no problem judging men on partial information. Please stop that when Please. And you act, you women are acting just like so many women who get upset. You have little to no information. You're not willing to do the work. To ask you certain questions and what you're responding to, I'm responding back to it. So you're you're referring to past videos, but I'm referring to things that you're telling me now. But you don't even let me, you don't even let other people talk. You're asking me how old I am. You're generalizing women. You about no, we haven't had sex. Okay. Why? Why? Because because I don't, I'm stingy. I'm stingy with the, with the puss. Excuse me? I'm stingy with it. I do not give it up easily. Were you married to your, were you married to your daughter's, your, your baby mama, though, right? Baby, I've never been married, no, but I just okay, don't, so I know. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let's talk about this, though. See, um, I find it funny that women like yourself, baby mamas, all of a sudden want to get stingy with the puss after you done, Gave you a womb up before a ring. But then you want the high value men to put a ring on it before he gets it? Who am I supposed to give it away? You got damn right you already did. Because here's the thing. See, that's what I mean. <clears throat> Man, you're a used vehicle wanting brand new 2021 prices. You can laugh all you want to, ma'am, but you just said six months. You're not even exclusive. You're talking about he's marriage minded. What do you think he's inserting his penis? In his hand? No, that's the thing. He could be inserting it somewhere else. Exactly, because here's the thing. Men with options don't play these games. Okay. Hello. All right. You were saying, do I, do I want to hear about your original plan? Right. Okay. No, and I will tell you why. You're not doing it. You're doing what you have to do to survive and live. Okay? Okay. So your original plan, it doesn't matter. It can, it does if it can change, uh, change my situation. Okay. Go ahead, since you know okay, better so, than I do. No, I, I no, nobody ever said that. Okay, but anyway, uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, go ahead, dude. The reason why this, um, I became a phlebotomy technician is because there's something called a paramedical insurance exam. I'm not sure if you heard about, about, about that. It doesn't basically. matter. Go ahead. I don't, I don't have to know right, what you know. Go ahead. All right, thank you. All right, look at it, man. Don't be a bitch. Don't hey, do it, little bitchy boys. Bitch get the fuck off my phone, spit. bitch. I don't fuck get the you. phone. Up. Get, go take blood, boy. Came, you and Wilk a job where people quiet in the background. Well, Kevin, uh, Mr. Samuel, it seems, I'm just, I have a question. Did you date 30-year-old women? Because you mentioned on the last show... <laughs> And that is a question. Why? Yeah, I mean, if you're doing it, why would you say you're fifty? Because okay, 50. first off, let's, how about, how, how, let's okay. You want to answer that question? It's a double standard. Just like you can stay at home while I got to go work. If I was at home and you worked, people would look at me a certain way. This is a double standard that's been with us since time immemorial. Children can come out of whatever I do. I can be seventy years old, and as long as I'm not shooting blanks, I can make babies. You can't. Hey, I don't care what you look like. So I don't. But, I, don't, but I said no, no. I, I don't care what you look like. But before a woman's gonna sign off and become your missus, they're gonna check their pockets. 
So don't so so right. so if you honestly think okay, you, you, here's the thing, uh, and I don't know your first name. So what is it? Walter. Walter. If you would have if you would have wake up tomorrow and be broke, how long do you think your wife would stay? Until I die. Okay. Hope hope that never happens to you. Hope you never. But that would be the first woman in here. Well, I went to the first woman. But where she, is your wife sleep or is she talking to you? No, she just walked up. She I woke up. I'm not going. I'm not going to inject any difficulty into your marriage, Walter. But. Uh, <laughs> I got gray in my beard, gray on my head, and uh, what you're saying does not comport with anything I've ever experienced in my living life. You're a very good communicator. I know. Thank you very much. And that's why I said money is more than nice. It is required if you expect to have a woman, especially a woman of quality. Thanks. Define, you guys still haven't defined quality. Everyone's... All right. See, I'm not going to go back and forth with this again. See, this is part of the problem. Young men... This is a man who's sitting up in the house with a wife and gonna sit there and tell you, money's nice, but you know, if, you, if this, this dude is honestly trying to say, Miss Walter, your husband just said if he lost all his money, you'd be living right on the corner with it. Yes, ma'am, you and your older age, cause I'm assuming y'all love the same age. This man has basically said if he lost it all, you'd be happy to be going, living in that box with him until, he said until he died. That's what he said, until he died. That's the energy you're getting because you're a guy that said you don't think you should have to approach women. They should give you choosing signals. Where would you rank yourself on a scale from one to 10? How tall are you? I'm 5'10". Five, 5'10", ten. Five, ten. how much do you weigh? Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. I weigh about- Two what? Depending on the day, two. between 280, 285. So you're a fat fucker. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think a five foot ten, almost three hundred pound dude, how much money you make? Like four hundred every two weeks. Four. So you make four hundred every two weeks. So you make eight hundred a month. You make uh, less than ten thousand dollars a year. Okay. But how many hold twenty up. year olds is him? Hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. I was a twenty year old and I was making far more money than that. In the eighties, a minimum wage was three thirty five an hour. So I need to hear it. How long? You got a big dick. Oh! I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean. You don't have a big I, dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You a big, you a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing signals at five foot 10 and 300 pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at 20 years old. And women should approach you, what they get, they don't even get a big dick. <laughs>